Are you in the club? Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. It's Kaylee, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make this baby Dory out of Play-Doh. Isn't she cute? All right, let's get started. For this project, you'll need a cutting board, coloring pages, or a black and white picture of your design, and these three tools from the baking section in your local craft store, plus a rolling pin. You'll also need some saran wrap or plastic food wrap. You'll also need some Play-Doh in yellow, purple, white, blue, edges a little bit with this blade tool just around the eye here where my background shows through <laughs> good and take your coloring sheet and trace the yellow parts so the yellow parts of Dory are the very edge of her fins and her tail so we'll take this spinny tool again and trace those areas They're all traced out. I can cut them out with my blade tool again. Now I can just fit the shapes onto my Dory design. Thank you. 
Don't worry if they don't match up perfectly because we can clean up the edges later. Another thing I like to use if it doesn't match up perfectly is this little ball tool. And you can use this to spread out the Play-Doh so that it fits better. Now I'll need some black Play-Doh. So now I'm going to be cutting out this black shape here. And to make it easier, I'm not going to cut out this circle. Okay, so this black shape is going to go right over her tail. And again, it doesn't really fit exactly, but that's okay, because I'm going to make it fit. So right here, looks like I need to trim away some of the blue. tool to kind of tuck the edges in. See how this part doesn't match up at all? I'm just going to kind of smooth out this edge as much as I can and then I'll just trim or add in some more black. The smaller the pieces the trickier it is. And this is kind of a small design that I started with, so. Here I'm just gonna tuck in this black piece here, and that will make it look a lot cleaner. It's kind of like coloring, like you wanna stay in the lines, but with Play-Doh instead. If there's any purple, you can just trim it away. So Dory also has a little black piece here. So I'm going to add in some black there. And this piece is actually, if you look at the picture, this is her little yellow fin. So I need to cut that piece out again. So that'll be yellow, and then this will be black. Another Play-Doh trick I like to use is to spray my design with water so that it doesn't dry out while I'm working. And for this little piece right here that's supposed to be black, because it's so small, I'm actually not gonna cut out this shape. I'm just going to take some black Play-Doh and roll it into a snake or a noodle. And then you can line it up where you want the black to go. Like that. And then trim off the edge. Use this ball tool to just spread the black in between the shapes. The other great thing about this ball tool is that if there's any jagged edges, this kind of smooths them out. So it makes it also look a lot cleaner that way. And then see how there's a little bit of purple on the back edge? I'm just gonna turn that off. And I'm just following the line of Dory's shape and her fin. And I'm actually gonna do the same thing with this yellow part. But first I'm gonna fill in the black here. So again, I'm just gonna make a noodle shape and line it up with where I want it to go. Trim the edge and smooth out the black. 
So you really don't have to be perfect at all to make these designs. You just have to be patient. And the more you practice, the better you'll get. Trust me, I've had a lot of practice. <laughs> ball shape of yellow to fill this part in and that's a little bit too big so now I'm just gonna add the little blue circle that she has and it's right next to her fin so for this, I'm just going to add a little blue ball and use this tool again just to spread it out. Okay, and now I'm going to work on her purple eyes. So now I'm going to use a cookie cutter for the eyes. So I'm using this one. It's a little bit smaller than the drawing, but it looks right when I put it on the eyeball on my shape. So I'm going to use this one and we can always spread it out a little bit more. So now I'm going to roll out the purple Play-Doh. So there's one of her eyes. Now we need the other one. For this one, I only need part of her eye, so I'm just going to use this line right here to trim the piece that I don't need. And now for the black part of her eye, or the pupil, I'm going to use the smaller cookie cutter to cut out a black circle. I'll do the same thing with the other side. Just placing the eye where I want it and then cutting down this little line here. So now I'm going to take a little bit of the white Play-Doh and I'm going to make the reflection spot on her eye. So for this I'll just take a tiny little ball of Play-Doh Make it really small because it's easy to spread the white out. And then one for the other side too. That one's not quite big enough. So I'm gonna get a little bit more Play-Doh. And now with my blade tool, I'm just going to tuck in all the edges that are kind of rough and make them look a little bit smoother. And also using my blade tool, I'm going to make the little marks that make it look like she has fins. Okay, and there's her fins, and now I just need to make her little mouth. For the mouthpiece, I'll just be using some black Play-Doh. Our Dory 
your design is complete. Alright guys, if you want to see more fun Play-Doh tutorials like this one, just click on the thumbs up. And leave me a note in the comments and let me know which other characters you'd like to see me make. And stay tuned for my next video where I'll be opening up a Baby Dory Play-Doh surprise egg. This is Kaylee for DCTC and thanks for watching! See you next time!